Alright guys, Jed Scott here. I just got back from the store and I'm going to do a little test on something. And I've seen a lot of guys do this and I'm still kind of skeptical, but I'm going to see if it works. What I bought here is some vinegar and my buddy said it was the right stuff. Plain white vinegar. Nothing fancy. And we got this NASCAR wet sump oil pan. It's got this rust in here. It's pretty scaly. I mean, that, that's pretty fresh stuff. This has been here for a while. And I don't really want to get in there with a grinder and try and clean that up just yet. I want to see if this vinegar stuff works. So we're going to pour it on in there and see if it works. We're going to let it sit for probably a couple weeks. And if it works, I'll let you guys know. Cool. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Hey guys, what's going on? Jet Scott here. And it's been about a week since we uh, poured some vinegar down inside that oil pan. Now, I'm going to tell you what. It wasn't a couple hours after that I went and scrubbed it. And holy crap. Did it pull up rust. It is amazing. In fact, this was covered in rust. And just got a little bit on there. In fact, what's on there now is just from it sitting out and getting uh, rust back on it. But it's pulled up a lot of rust. So... We're going to drain this nasty concoction into this here clean drain pan. And let you see what it looks like. Let's do it. Alright. Let's see what kind of nasty comes out of here. Well, that plug has seen better days. Look how clean that is already. Damn. Well, let's get it completely drained out and I'll show you when it's done. So yeah, um, I even cleaned out the pan with a little bit of mineral spirits and we have got some nasty shit inside of here. All I can say is this stuff does work, this vinegar trick. Hang on, I'm going to move my... I am actually really surprised how clean this got. I mean, some of this nasty, this is just, you know, like flash rusting. But I don't know how well it showed it, but if you guys see how clean this is. It's just some surface stuff, really. In fact, you saw how that looked when it came out, and I just wiped it off. It's a plug again. I mean, all this is is a oil temperature sensor. It's super clean. I can't believe how clean that is. Dang. Oh, I can read the numbers that are there. It says SS10-1. That's a little pan. I can't believe how clean that got. I really can't. That's amazing. Let's pull this back inside. I mean, seriously. It ain't, you know, spotless. But all that big, heavy surface rust is gone. Dang. That's just unbelievable. Well, guys, I tested that been proven true i mean i knew it was true but i wanted to try it myself and now that i know it works you got something you need to clean up it's rusty but can't get into it with a wire brush vinegar plain white distilled vinegar is what i used clean that right up now it's ready to use on something like that anyways guys this was a short little proven a point kind of video and I hope you learned something from it, because I definitely did. I guess in a way I learned it. I kind of already knew it was true, but I want to test that myself. So, if you learned anything, or if you like this video in any sort of way, you know, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz if you feel like it. If you feel like this video was worth it. Or go check out some of my other videos. Try and convince you that my channel's worth staying at and checking out my shit. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My bad, we're not ready to end the video yet. Um, I do want to say thank you, William. I think his channel is Charger 3D3 Mopar. Anyways, you don't need to know his channel name because you probably already know who he is. He gave me this here three-speed shift knob. I didn't even have to pay for shipping. He just gave it to me. And I appreciate that. We're going to use that as a mold to make more shift knobs. He has a really badass 68 Charger. It's kind of patina black. He built a 444. It had a 3D3 in it. And uh, I've been following him since like day one. And they got a really awesome burnout video of his dad doing a gnarly burnout in their driveway. 
super cool dude. Go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. Uh, he's got more subscribers than me. But you know what? If you guys are here watching my video and you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's a cool cat. Cool Mopar dude. Cool car guy. Leave it at that. He was cool enough. Just give me that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Now I'm in the video. Take care. Bye.